Today I want to show you a prompt that works very well in ChatGPT in almost every situation. And this is the let's think about this prompt. Instead of me talking about it, let's just head over to ChatGPT and see this in action. First, I just want to show you the prompt we are using here to generate the text. You are a writer and expert in productivity and how to improve people's life. Your task is to give the best advice when it comes to improving lives, reaching goals and getting more productive. Imagine and write an informational passage about how to build better habits. Take inspiration from the following research and include the seed words. So you can see we have research here in uh, brackets and we have seed words in brackets. Then we just go ahead and go research equals. And here I've done some research that I just put in here. And I have my seed words. Seed words equals better habits, increase productivity, small changes, reach your goals and time. So these are the words I really want to have included in the text. Then I just go ahead and do write the informational passage about how to build better habits and just click submit. So now we have a good passage about how to build better habits. You can read this if you want to just hit pause, but it's time now to take a look at the let's think about this prompt. So let's think about this. Let's go passage using an example and just hit submit. Here we can see that the prompt gave us an example of a good habit. A great example of building better habits is starting a daily exercise routine. It goes on like this small change in behavior can be reinforced by setting a reminder to exercise at the same time each day and making the habit part of one's daily routine. So this can be quite useful, right? Let's check out the next prompt. Now let's go for the prompt. Let's think about this passage from a reverse perspective. This gives usually some very interesting results. So let's just have a look. Okay, so let's have a look here. It goes another way to think about building better habits is by identifying and breaking bad habits that is holding you back from reaching your goals. Very good. So for example, let's say you have a habit of procrastinating and find yourself consistently putting off important tasks. Yeah, that's good. Another strategy to break down large tasks into smaller manageable chunks and setting a specific deadline for each chunk. So by consistently working on breaking bad habits and replacing them with good habits, you can increase your productivity and reach your goal. Yeah, this is just pure gold. Next, let's check out the prompt. Let's think about this passage in a bigger context. Okay, so let's take a look here. We have building better habits and breaking bad habits. It's not just about reaching specific goals or increasing productivity. It's also about creating a better overall lifestyle and improving the quality of one's life. Yeah, that's very good. Additionally, break building better habits can also lead to greater sense of self-efficiency and self-esteem. That's good. Building better habits is a key aspect of personal development and self-improvement. Yeah, I think this is some very good bigger context results. Now let's go for one of my personal favorite, and that is let's think about this passage using analogies. Okay, so let's check out some of our analogies here. Building better habits can be compared to planting a seed in the garden. Just like a seed needs the right conditions to grow, a habit needs the right environment to develop. You can't expect a seed to grow in poor soil, and you can't expect a habit to form if you're not providing it with the right conditions. Very good. Another analogy is building a tower. Good habits are like the bricks you lay on top of one another. Each day, each week, each month, creating a solid foundation and gradually building higher and higher. And just like a tower, good habits can withstand the test of time, while bad habits are like weak bricks that can easily crumble. Yeah, that's good. I really enjoy that. Another prompt I use sometimes is let's think about this passage from multiple angles. Okay, so as you can see here, we got some different angles. We got the practical angle, we got the psychological angle, the behavioral angle, and we got a holistic angle. So let's take a bit of a better look here. So from a practical angle, building better habits requires setting clear, measurable goals and creating a plan. Building better habits require developing the right mindset and overcoming limiting beliefs that could be holding you back. From a behavior angle, we have building better habits require identifying bad habits that might be preventing you from achieving your goals and replacing them with good habits. 
from a holistic angle. Building better habits requires the right environment, both physical and social, to su that support your goal. Yeah, this is good. So in short, building better habits is a process in that involves multiple angles and requires a holistic approach. Not bad. Next up, we have the prompt. Let's think about this passage by looking at its impact. Okay, so as you can see here, we got these three different perspectives. We have the productivity perspective, we have the health perspective, and we have the fulfillment perspective. That's quite interesting. Like if you see, in conclusion, building better habits can have a profound impact on a person's life, leading to improved productivity, better health, and greater fulfillment. It requires effort and consistency, but the rewards are well worth it. Yeah, that was interesting. You can always pause this and read more if you want to. So let's take a look at another one. The next prompt also usually gives a very interesting response. So that is, let's think about this passage from a historical standpoint. The results here looks like a real gold mine for research. So you can see here we have the idea of building better habits. It's not new. It's been studied and discussed throughout history. Ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle, for example, wrote about the concept of ethos and the character of a person. He believed that virtues such as courage and wisdom were developed through consistent habit formation. Very interesting. So we also have, in recent years, there has been a renewed interest in the topic of habit formation with the popularization of books such as Charles Duggins' The Power of Habit and my favorite book, James Clear, Atomic Habit. It's such a good book. I really recommend it. The idea of building a better habit has been discussed throughout history from ancient philosophy to modern psychology. Yeah. Some really good results here if you say you're doing research on this topic very impressive okay so the final prompt we're gonna look at today is gonna be let's think about this passage in terms of economics okay so let's take a look here we have builder brain habits can also have an economic impact from a personal perspective developing good habits such as budgeting, saving, and investing can lead to financial stability and security. These habits can help individuals make the most of their income and increase their wealth over time. Yeah, that's good. And we have a business perspective here. We have some workforce perspective, I guess. On the other hand, bad habits can have a negative economic impact, of course. So in conclusion, building better habits can have an economic impact both on an individual and on organization level. Good habits can lead to financial stability, increased productivity and cost savings, while bad habits can lead to financial instability and increased cost. Yeah, very good. Hopefully this gave you some inspiration on how you can improve your chat GPT skills. So if you want to dive deeper into the space of generative AI, I have a membership that I left a link to in the description we really dive into this also check out this video if you found this one interesting and i just want to say thank you for watching have a great day and i'll see you in the next